Well, it is early in the morning and I didn't want to wake up anyone at home, so I went outside for a little bit. And I also ran the calculations uh, on the computer and wanted to see what the changes are. And I expected some changes and I guess many too, with Germany losing to Mexico. It might set up a Germany-Brazil round of two matchup, at least an expected matchup. Let's have a look. So, obvious changes first. Germany still holds second place, but now almost half the chances of winning. Brazil also went slightly down, and thanks to those two results, everyone else moved up. Spain so much that they leapfrogged France again for uh, third place. And it kind of makes sense, as, as we'll see, Spain has now a much clearer path to the final, and then uh, you're more likely to win. Brazil's chances dip uh, mainly because they have to face, they have to go through Germany now. Uh, in the second round, so um, might make it a little bit more difficult. Uh, in the top 10, no other changes except that probabilities went all up through the board. Uh, Denmark went now ahead, Switzerland um, even dropped a little bit uh, because of Denmark's rise, because Denmark was first um, going out now they they are making it and switzerland's path is not as straightforward as it may seem um yeah croatia is right here so uh, slight changes peru dropped out and russia goes in 16. slight changes overall but the big one is germany's chances are halved more or less then let's look at the expected tournament uh no changes of course in the first four groups but the big one here is um mexico is now projecting first place. Germany has only a two-third chance of advancing. Uh, of course, it's all subject to, however, that game between uh, Sweden and um, Korea ends today. Um, Brazil dropped a little bit. Switzerland looks actually a little bit stronger than uh, Serbia, although they both have now almost the exact same expected points total. It was really... Uh, not saying you can plan it, but it was a masterstroke. I mean, Serbia put a lot of pressure on Switzerland by winning the first game. Switzerland, by taking point of Brazil, put it right back on. Well, let's look at the projected tree. And here we have the biggie. Brazil, Germany is now projected to be a second round. France, Argentina uh, did those. So that's a hell of a second round. Uh, almost like in 1990 when we had Germany, Holland and Brazil versus Argentina. If that holds, that would be a great couple of games. It also looks very strong here. Uruguay, Portugal is also not a matchup to sneer at. And of course, Brazil then would go through. Uh, here it gets a little bit more interesting, although it's not as loaded. Uh, Spain has a very clear path. They're clearly the uh, best team in that bracket. But now we have England going all the way to the semis. Uh, I was a little bit surprised, but then if you look at the ratings, maybe not as much that Switzerland is favored over Mexico. Um, given that Mexico was beating Germany, but okay, then Switzerland was taking a point of Brazil. That might be an even matchup, so very interesting. Uh, England would be favored over Switzerland. Makes a little bit sense to me. And then we have Spain going to, to the final, where they are, of course, outsider. And the third place matchup is France versus England. Well... So it looks very interesting. As I said at the beginning, those projections, the most likely tree is never the one that will end up being, and so I'm sure there will be more changes to come. I think it, this is always exciting to see how one result or two results can actually have an effect on the entire tournament. Let me know in the comments what you think, who you favor, uh, what you think about those projections so far, and I will talk to you soon. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.